January 19, 2022. I'm back at Cratona Park in the Bronx. I was here two months ago showing where to find slugs, isopods and other creatures for terrariums. Check my previous videos for more details about it. And now, in the middle of freezing cold winter, I found many active creatures, slugs and some eggs. This time I'm going to take home a couple slugs, isopods and uh, the eggs. You can see some creatures run on a crust of ice here. I put eggs in a separate container for further observation, wondering what may hatch out them, if anything. The young isopods will go into one of the terrariums I have already filled with isopods. So, here I have one cup with mystery eggs. And one cup with young isopods. Oh, here is one more egg. I think the jelly-like eggs may need to stay hydrated. Let's spray the eggs with declarinated water. And let's cover the container to reduce evaporation and for safety. Who knows what may hatch here. And here is the container with slugs I brought from the park. Let's just reassemble the bark, leaves and the moss I picked at the same spot in the park. I have three about one centimeter long slugs here. Two dark color slugs and one brownish is on the right. Small and cute they are. I put slugs temporarily into a 16 oz container. There is a wilted leaf for them to feed on. Let's give them a slice of apple to snack on. Spray some water to keep it all moistened and cover the container with a lid that has some needle sized holes. January 28th. It's been more than a week since I put slugs into this container. Let's take a closer look on them. Here they are, hiding under the moss. And look, eggs! Two deposits of jelly like eggs and the third slug. The eggs look exactly the same as those I found in the park. So, now I know what to expect to hatch from those eggs. I add a couple dry leaves for my slugs to feed on. And look, there is an isopod. Who knows what other creatures could be hiding in the moss. The brownie slug is checking the apple slice. January 31st, 2022. I decide to repurpose this uh, couple years old sustainable aquarium garden with snails to house my slugs. Let's transfer the land plants, the land moss grown underwater and all aquatic plants out. No water changes, no feeding and the aquarium looks great for years. I have many videos about this and other sustainable aquarium gardens. Check them out. Drain the water and clean the walls. I use toothbrush and napkin for cleaning walls. I keep the gravel and put back the seashell. Now let's put a layer of dry leaves without stems. The leaves and moss with slugs and eggs from the temporary container go on top. The space has more space for slugs to explore. And my hand actually fits through. Plus, I would be able to make uh, better observations through the glass walls. A couple and plants that have been grown on top of this aquarium garden also go into this terrarium. I left some water up to the gravel level in the tank. Cover the terrarium with the same planter I used for the aquarium garden. Tape the holes in the planter to keep slugs in. February 2nd. I move a slice of carrot with green growth from the isopods terrarium to my slugs. And give slugs a piece of banana peel to try. One of the slugs comes out to check the carrot. The next day, all the carrots green grows gone. 
Seems like slugs like it. Leaves of other plants still there, untouched. Five days late on February 8th. The banana peel is getting spoiled without much interest from the slugs. Let them try some green leaves from my kitchen. A couple days later on February 12th. This green is less popular than the carrots greens for sure. A new development in the cup with eggs. Meet a baby slug. It took about a month for the baby slug to hatch from an egg. Let's move the baby slug into the terrarium with adult slugs. Aha! Uh -huh, there are two more baby slugs on the other side of the leaf. So, three baby slugs hatched out of more than a dozen eggs. A tiny cup is far cry from being a proper hatchery for sure. Also, I spotted a couple springtails crawling on the walls of this terrarium. I culture springtails in two dozen containers next to this terrarium. So, the invasion of springtails is something I expected to happen. Also, slugs lay another batch of eggs and here you can see a grindle worm. I may brought grindle worm with leaves. February 19th. I pick some sprouted bulbs from the Crotona Park for my slugs. Let's plant the bulb somewhere in the middle of the terrarium. Here is another batch of eggs. Seems like slugs lay eggs frequently all year round. Let's cover bulbs with moss. Add some water to keep it all moistened. Also, I add a couple more wilted leaves. Basically, I add new food for slugs about once a week. And keep it all moistened. Four days later, the green sprouts have already grown up to the cover. A baby slug fits on a wilting leaf. My slug seems to like wilted leaves a lot. The egg's still here, I suppose for another 3-4 weeks. The tips of green leaves start curling. I pull the leaves through holes of the planter to let them grow freely. March 14th. One slice of sweet potato goes in. A baby slug on the leaf stem. I decide to replace the green plants that have overgrown this terrarium in one month's time. Check roots, bulbs and leaves for any creatures. Three baby slugs feeding on a slice of carrot. There are more slugs on wilted leaves. It is hard to spot them. I have to be extra careful moving things around as to not to harm my tiny slugs. It's amazing how life flourishes in a short period of time in this terrarium. Once again, I make space in the center of the terrarium to place new flowers. And here is a crocus with flower blooms. I pick crocus flowers for short stems of flowers that fit in this terrarium. And now let's put everything with slugs back into the terrarium. Add some water to keep everything moistened. Well, I still have to put tips of some leaves through the holes in the cover. I have to look for even smaller plants for this terrarium. All looks nice and pretty. Slugs are cute pets to keep with simple weekly care. And basically, any ways can be used for slugs terrarium. Here is a time-lapse recording of my slugs.
my slug seems to like carrots a lot. I am planning to release my slugs in the park in a month or so to make room for other projects. Have fun and happy slugs!